Welcome to Toaster, where we will end day two. On one of my local tracks, it's a three-mile maiden hurdle. This one, Dictate Ross, and Mars Leadham is the top one. Equator, Paul Rhodes, Splish Splash, Josh Sutherland. That's pretty apt with the weather. Climbing Shadows, Craig Beckwith, French Vacation, Leon Van Rensburg, Initial Legacy, Craig Allen, Cad Bean, Ryan Costello, Resentful, Sadie, James Shea, and Ring of Esteem, Thomas Rogers. So just nine of them there, this stiff, gruelling track, and away they go. And... The first one to show looks like it's going to be Cad Bean, Splish Splash and Equator are also up there and Equator is pulling for its head and has finally won the battle with the jockey to get into the lead. So it's Equator then, it's in downhill now towards the first of the 12 flights of hurdles. And you're really going to need to stay the full three miles to win round this track and Equator is in front as they get to it and over it they all go. Racing away from it downhill, and Equator is the leader. Most of this track is on the uphill, though, and it's Equator who's in the lead. From Splish Splash in second, then Climbing Shadows is third ring of esteem. After that one, then Cad Bean that's got the rail. Resentful Sadie, plenty of green coloured silks in this race. And it's Equator, it's showing the way. Oh, Paul Rhodes in front by about two and a half lengths to Splish Splash for Joshua Sullivan and the Dennis the Menace Red and Black. And then Climbing Shadows for Craig Beck with his on that one's outside in third. Bit of a gap back to Ryan Costello's Cad Bean in fourth. With the Ring of Esteem after that one for Thomas Rogers. Then the Grey Horse after that one is Dictate Ross. And that one is one of mine. And then that one's outside initial legacy for Craig Allen with resentful Sadie for James Shea in the grim with a purple jacket. And champion trainer Leon Van Rensburg bringing up the rear at this point with a French vacation in the blue with the yellow cap then. So racing through the rain. This Northamptonshire track and Equator is in the lead by four lengths, skipping over flight number three. And leads from Splish Splash second, and then Climbing Shadows is third. Ring of Esteem is in fourth. And then Cad Bean and Dictate Ross, initial legacy and resentful Sadie, and then finally French Vacation. As you can see, they're on the, on the uphill again there. They get to flight number four. Which they all get have a nasty dictate Ross. Took that one really well. That one is more of a chaser, to be honest, but too many races you could get into today. So give it a spin over hurdles, get it fit for next week. And Equator is the leader. And by four, to Splish Splash second. One in Shadows third, and Ring of Esteem. Dictate Ross, Cad Bean on the inside of that one as they get to flight number five. Which they're all safely over resentful Sadie is the back marker as we come up the straight we'll pass all the stands shortly it's had a big big refurb over the last 10 years or so toaster and it's a really nice track now it was pretty bleak back in the late 70s and 80s when I first came here it was really sort of run down but now it's got a nice big fancy new stand also got a grand track as well and as far as I remember it's still free to get in apart from on bank holidays so it was a good day out, and Equator is the leader. Uh, Splish Splash is second, Climbing Shadows is third, then Ring of Esteem is fourth. Then comes Initial Legacy and Dictate Ross with French Vacation and Cad Bean, and then Resentful Sadie, who is just about the back marker. So racing downhill now, then, and Equator is in front by a good three. To Climbing Shadows second on the outside of Splish Splash. Then comes Real Esteem as they take number seven. And also, if you know that one as well, Cad Bean has now just dropped to the back. And Equator is the leader. Quite well strung out. That's something that quite often happens at this track. They get pretty strung out. Quite a lot of horses go off too fast in front and end up getting caught. And one or two slip the field as well. I remember being here with some friends one day back in the 80s. And it's the people I was with had uh, backed a whole school red ant, which had absolutely no chance at all old form. It was about 66 to 1. He just backed it because he thought he got a silly name. And it went about 30 lengths clear in a long distance hurdle. And the rest of them just never caught him up there. <laughs> what he was doing, absolute handstands in the stands afterwards. He was the only person on the course who backed it. But it's Equator who's in the lead. On Splish Splash in second. Climbing Shadows is third. Then Initial Legacy is fourth, Ring of Esteem's after that one in fifth, and then French Vacation and Resentful Sadie 
dictate Ross just kind of a bit of pressure might be finding the pace a little bit hot really more of a chaser than a hurdler and Cad Bean is the one that's right out the back so Equator then still in front from Splish Splash Paul Rhodes against Joshua Sutherland it's a bit of a throwback from a few seasons ago that one isn't it but Equator in the lead as Paul Rhodes tries to get his jumping team back on track Racing uphill then with three furlongs to go over the tenth. That's the third last. And it's Equator who's in the lead. Splish Splashes was beating a bit of a retreat in second. The initial Legacy is the one that's coming around the outside for the all-conquering Craig Allen stable. And it's Equator in the lead. Then Splish Splash now gets a second win. Then Initial Legacy and then Ring of a Steam. And then Climbing Shadows will concentrate on these. And the rest of them are out of it. French Vacation is not really too well for Leon as they come to the second last. Over that one they go. And it's Equator who's still in the lead. But now Splish Splash and Initial Legacy coming to challenge and look at this ring of esteem is now in either and neither's climbing shadows they've got one more to take they've got less than a full on the race over the final flight they go and it's Splish Splash who lands in the leading quote is trying to battle back initial legacy he's trying to get up the hill but Splish Splash is Splish Splashing through the rain and he's got to take it Splish Splash is the winner in Equator second initial legacy third then ring of esteem climbing shadows the field will trail back to Cad Bean and there's almost two races there wasn't it the front five pulling away from the rest of them uh, i can tell myself that i think mine finished first of the second bunch but it's splish splash that takes an appropriate winner in the conditions for joshua sutherland equator for paul Rhodes second initial legacy for craig allen third ring of esteem thomas rogers fourth and climbing shadows for craig beckwith was fifth